So I just swapped over to Windows 11 last week. You saw that video and I'm genuinely interested if game mode actually does anything, right? So I was looking up guys because I noticed that you know, we did we did that video and there was, uh, you know, uh, we had graphs up there kind of showing the performance difference and they, you know, they were pretty close, but Windows 11's performance was less than Windows 10. So I went out looking for how to optimize Windows 11 and every single one mentions high power performance plan, okay? Duh. And the other thing that they all seem to mention is game mode on Windows 11. And I'm interested if game mode actually does anything because I'm, and you know what? We just installed Windows 11. I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna find out in today's video. Another thing all of these website guides mention is, oh, perfect way to optimize Windows 11 is to use a graphics card. What the f Of course use a graphics card. That's the best way to optimize Windows performance. So what we're gonna do here actually is we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go into the settings we are going to go to gaming. We are going to go to uh, game mode. I'm gonna turn that off. See what happens, shall we? I'm gonna load up. Uh, I'm gonna load up some Halo Infinite. This will probably be a short video today, uh, but we need Afterburner, and I'm gonna load up Halo Infinite. We're gonna run through a bot game, kind of get the uh, kind of get it, you know, flowing. And I'm gonna get a baseline. We're gonna we're gonna see what the performance is like with it not turned on, and then we're gonna turn it on and see if it makes any sort of difference because I'm kind of just genuinely curious and I don't know if people just people are going to be getting ready to update to Windows 11 pretty quick here. We're going to get a, a general overview of what this looks like when game mode is turned off. We're going to get a little bit of a baseline and then we're going to go back into it and turn game mode on and see if that makes any sort of difference because I want to learn just like everybody else. Look, man, I don't claim to be the smartest tool in the shed. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're going to do a bot game just so we can pick bizarre both times to measure this out because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be different maps with different optimizations, you know, and a lot of the, the new maps are coming up a lot. So I just want to run bizarre and we'll just see what the performance is like with game mode off and then with game mode on. Just want to have fun, man. You know, I personally don't think this is going to do shit. Okay. So we're going to, oh, now we're on. 1% lows are on the far right. Okay. Gucci. Gucci. Bro, I, like, I, I slay bots, bro. I don't even care, brother. They're going to be over here to the right. No, they're not. What are their team? One, two, three. What? So 91% uh, or 91 FPS on the 1% lows, kind of what we were seeing in the, uh, when we first switched over to Windows 11. So I really don't think this has done much, but we can definitely take a look. But yeah, I think we're just gonna test Halo today. Halo was probably one of the most uh, noticeable differences between Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I think we'll just, we'll just get our baseline here and then we will go ahead and we will test with game mode turned on if there is a difference. Oh yeah, sorry, so I got, uh, I got distracted. I keep getting distracted trying to get Boogeyman. Probably going to be a short video. I just want to see if there's any discernible difference. Boogeyman. Another shot. Three more kills. They should be mine. They're all mine. Mine. Mark. Oh, it's Mac. Get out of the way, Mac attack. I got shit to do. Demon. Okay. So now we're going to settings. I swear to God, this is in every single Windows optimization guide for gaming that I see. We go into game mode. We turn it on. Okay. So we have it on. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to check the MSI Afterburner benchmark that we just ran on Halo right here. Okay. We don't care about 0.1% lows. 1% lows, 90.5. We got to round up. So 91 maximum. 145, minimum 135, and average 144, right? 143.6. Okay. Now it's turned on. We're going to relaunch the game. See if it makes a discernible difference, okay? If if we get something absolutely dumb, like our 1% lows are off by like 2 FPS, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it does nothing, right? Because that is in the realm, uh, that is absolutely in the realm of uh i guess not realm that isn't the margin of error so but now i'm genuinely interested because the, the joke is is that i've had it on 
the whole time, right? It's on by default. So is that really how you optimize for it? Or is Windows 10 just a little, just a little bit better? Uh, so now we're gonna go back into custom game. We're going to set up our lobby options. Just kidding, we're gonna go to mode editor. We're gonna throw in some bots. Hopefully game likes to run my CPU spicy. Okay, once we start loading, I'm gonna hit the benchmark. Here we are, boom. Again, 1% lows are on the far right. I don't measure or I don't have 0.1% lows on it. Uh, okay, I don't remember what it was in the beginning uh, in the first one for 1% lows. That's pretty high though. Let us go, brother. It's not BRs again. I have to specifically set up that. I'd rather not play commandos. Commandos suck. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Causing havoc here. I guess didn't really do much. Oh, yes. And the fourth. And the fifth. Tiltacular and the sixth. I love recruit bots. They're so dumb. Triple running riot. Okay. Okay. Let's go. What a nightmare. What's up, dude? Surprise again. Hello. Slide, John Wick. Oh, you wait right there. I'm reloading and I'm coming. Meowner. Oh, it went down to 89. Oh no. So it's actually worse. Margin of error. We're going to learn today. Just the map. This is V.1.0. I don't know if that matters or not. Uh, let me just verify. Gaming mode was turned on, right? Yep. Supposedly it was. Okay, now let's go take a look at the benchmarks. Okay, with gaming mode turned off, 143.6. With it turned on, 143.5. Minimum was higher by about one frame per second. Our maximum was exactly the same. Our 1% low was worse with game mode turned on. So I don't actually know if that matters. I just thought it'd be a fun test to do. If you guys liked the video, I have another video right here that you might be interested in and a whole playlist of other shit that you might be interested in. So check that out and I will see you when you get over there. Take care.